This video is for you, whether you're a defender or an attacker. Today we're talking about making forward runs. So a lot of you out there are struggling with what to do off the ball when my team is attacking. What types of runs should I make? Now, before I get into that, you should be doing two things. You should either be supporting the play or getting forward, trying to create a passing angle for your teammates. So let me illustrate that. Let's say you're this player on the ball and the ball is played into here, okay? Now I have two options. I can either make a forward run and try to get the ball back or I can support the play. And as a central midfielder like that, a lot of times you're gonna be supporting the play is unless my defender gets turned or my attacker gets turned and there's opportunities for me to get forward. I'm gonna to try to get forward, okay? But when we're in possession, we're moving forward, okay? Even as a center back, say you play a nice ball over the top right to this guy, we're not just sitting and watching. We're all getting forward. This defender might come for an overlap, but you're coming to support. You're coming to support the play. And you may not be the direct passing option or the first passing option, but you're coming to support the play in some way. So you're either supporting the ball. So if this guy gets closed down, he has an option to come backwards, or you're either getting past the ball, moving forward, trying to get the ball in an advanced situation. So what I wanna talk about today are different forward runs that you can make to get more involved in the play, to get in more dangerous areas so you can get more assists, you can get more goals, you can help your team win more games. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up my blue team here. We're all getting forward, which is good. Getting in the box, wanting to score goals. That's great, but let's talk specifically about a couple of different runs. And I've outlined six different runs. I've given them all different names and I wanna talk a little bit about them, okay? So number one is the peel off. What does that mean? Well, it happens a lot when you're playing as a striker or a winger, but you might find yourself in advanced positions as a midfielder. What I mean by the peel off is when I'm in this position here, yes, he can play into my feet and that's great, but I wanna get in the habit of peeling off, facing the goal, facing the ball, so my body positioning is this way, I'm not facing that way, I'm not blocked off, okay? I'm open, I'm facing the goal, I'm facing the ball. So instead of receiving the ball here, I opened up my body, I took a couple steps away, I peeled off and I created this bit of space for myself. This defender is watching the ball, he wants to, close that ball. His his general habit is gonna to be to gravitate towards the ball, especially his eyes. His eyes are on the ball. If he's a good defender, he's gonna have his eyes on you and the ball, but a lot of times you can take advantage of him getting drawn towards the ball. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna peel off, get some space for yourself, peel off, create this passing lane, and now it's played into here, forward touch, you're attacking the goal right away, okay? So think about that. Instead of just making this straight forward run like that, I wanna peel off and create space for myself. Peel off and create those five yards, 10 yards, even two yards of space, a little peel off like this will go a long way in getting your shot off quicker or having space to make a decision. Okay, so number one forward run is the peel off. So instead of standing right by the defender, I'm gonna peel off, make a little bit of space and get that ball into my feet going towards the goal. Okay, it can happen in lots of different areas. Instead of being here, I'm gonna make this forward run like this, but I'm gonna peel off, create that space, create that passing angle, and then you're attacking the goal with much more purpose. Number two is through the lines, okay? So here, I don't always wanna to try to make that straight run that we're talking about, okay? Or that you do a lot of the time, probably. What I wanna do is I wanna get these through balls into here. This is an extremely dangerous ball, but I will never get that ball if I'm never making that forward run, okay? I'm just making this run straight down the line. You clipped in here, that's great. You can do that run as well, and that is extremely dangerous. But I think as a striker or a winger, if you're making this ball, this run here, so he's on the ball, we're making good eye contact, he sees that I'm making my forward run, these defenders are standing still. They don't have any momentum. I have my momentum traveling forward. Okay, I'm trying to get this ball into here and then I'm going around the keeper or being composed and making my finish before the keeper gets to the ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, but think about can I receive this ball in more dangerous areas? If I'm as the winger, 
I don't always want to stay out here. Sometimes I want to come in here and that ball gets clipped over the top or it gets clipped between the lines, okay? So this is a great run for strikers, a great run for wingers, a great run even for an attacking midfielder who finds himself in a forward position, okay? You peel off, oh, it didn't work. Let's go through the lines right here, between the lines, between the center backs. It can also happen, it can also happen in these areas here, okay? So instead of waiting on the, waiting outside, trying to get the ball to feed here, I'm trying to make this run into here. Get that ball between the lines. Good, now we're going forward. I can play that ball across and we got an easy tap in. Okay, so think about number two, forward run is making a run between the lines, between the striker or between the center back and the full back or between the two center backs. Getting between the lines, trying to get that through ball. Make good eye t contact, make a good timed run. If you go too early, you're gonna be offside. If you go too late, defender's gonna beat you there. Okay, so I'm trying to Break this line as soon as the pass is played. Boom. Between the lines, very dangerous ball, very great forward run for you to make. Okay? Next run I want to talk about is the midfield runner. Okay? So the deep midfield runner. So yes, it's great for this striker to make this run. Okay? It's great for him to make that run. But sometimes he's going to pull off into the midfield. What does that do? That creates him this center back or this defender to come and close this space. This is a great opportunity for this midfielder instead of always trying to get the ball to feet, can you get forward? Can we play that ball into his feet there? Or he realizes the space and the ball gets clipped over the top, now we're in a great dangerous position, okay? Too many midfielders are always looking to get the ball to feet. Too many midfielders never make this forward run trying to get the ball over the last line, over the defenders, or behind the defenders, okay? So if you're playing as a midfielder, yes, I want you to get on the ball as lots as possible, as often as possible. I want you to get the ball to your feet, okay? But sometimes, I want you to make that forward run, especially if you're getting closed down here. I want you to make that forward run, and that's a great opportunity. Say you're getting closed down like this, spin, can we make that forward run, that late midfielder run, the deep midfielder run, I should say, Coming from deep, the striker got drawn into midfield, created space, forward run, the midfielder got behind the defenders, he didn't try to get the ball to feet like he did the last 10 times, he made a forward run, and look where he received the ball. Okay, so if you're a midfielder, think about, okay, I'm going to make a couple runs today, I'm going to try to make a couple runs today where I'm receiving the ball behind the defenders. Yes, I want to get to feet, but I want to vary my run. Sometimes I want to get behind the defenders. So that deep midfielder run is a great forward run to make. Next, I want to talk about overlap. And you've probably heard this one a lot. This is great for a fullback. It's great for anyone who can get out wide. Sometimes a midfielder can come out here and make a forward run, make an overlap, and then play across into the box. Okay? But a lot of times, especially as a fullback, I want this to be your bread and butter run. I want you to make this one 20 times a game. Okay, you gotta be fit, but it's gonna create a lot of chances for your team. So when do you make the overlap? Well, let's say the ball gets played into your winger. Okay, ball gets played out here to your winger and he's starting to drift inside, trying to cut inside, but they defend him well, okay? Look at all this space he's creating for you because he's going inside. Notice that, get forward, overlap, okay? so. You need to anticipate. You can't make that run by the time he gets here. I mean, you can, and you can support the play, and you still have space. But if you want to get it in a great area, okay, you need to anticipate that that's going to happen. Okay, so as this ball gets played to him here, boom, you're going now. You're overlapping now. You're getting into good position. They get drawn like here. He does a quick turn, plays that ball into space. You have the composure, play a nice pass, we're scoring beautiful goals. Okay, so overlapping run. As a defender, don't just defend, especially these fullbacks. These days, fullbacks are second wingers. Okay, you need to be fit enough, you need to be quick enough to get up and down that line, and I would rather you go and be extremely tired and struggle to get back than never go. Okay, it's better for your development. Yes, you might not concede as many goals or might not get in trouble as much defensively, but hey, I want you to be involved. You'll be much more valuable if you're a two-way defender. So make that overlapping run as much as possible. Now, like I said, other players can make that overlap. 
Okay, so let's say <clears throat> that the ball gets played into this winger here, or sorry, this is a striker, this is a winger. Let's say it gets played, you play that ball as a midfielder into here, and he starts coming. Okay, you don't always have to show here. Sometimes you can make that run out there. He gets drawn in, you play an overlap, and the ball gets played to you, or we play it back, and then the ball gets played to you. Okay, so vary up your runs. Sometimes as an attacking midfielder, it's good to get out wide. And you'll create lots of space because who's marking you, the defensive midfielder, he has no idea where you've been. He's lost in the middle, your winger came in here, and you have bags of space out here to attack and be dangerous. Okay, so think about that, the overlapping run. I also want to talk about the underlapping run. What is an underlap? We know what an overlap is. An overlap, you're getting around him over the side and you're getting the ball into space. What about an underlapping run? Well, this is great for a fullback as well because, like I said, I don't want you to just defend. I want you to get involved in the play. So let's say the ball is played into here and he tries to take on this guy. Where are you? Are you just sitting back here supporting the ball? Or are you getting involved in the play? Can you pick up the ball in these areas here? And maybe you beat a guy, whip a ball in the box, or take a shot on net. Okay, but you're never going to get that opportunity. So let's compare the two. <clears throat> Overlap, I'm coming here, I'm noticing there's space. Underlap, I'm coming on the inside, I know there's space, I'm trying to pick that ball up here. And then you can either clip a ball over the top to someone making a good run there. Or, like I said, you can play a little combination, get that ball back, take a shot. Or you can take a good first touch right into the box, be very direct. Okay, but you're never going to get in these good attacking areas if you're always hanging out back here. Okay, so that's the underlap. Overlap and underlap. Vary your runs. Don't always come down the side. Sometimes, especially when he's trapped here, you want to come inside here and now you're in a great attacking area. Okay, the last one I want to talk about is the late runner. And what I mean by this is when a ball is getting played into the box, yes, we want our center forward to probably make that front post run, or we want our winger to make that back post run. But where is the late runner? Okay, don't be so concerned with defending all the time. If there's two of you here, one of you can stay. The other one, I want you to get around here. Because anything that's getting whipped in here and the defenders nick it out, Okay, look where you are. Look at that opportunity for a one-time half volley, full volley into the back of the net. Okay, so think about the late runner. If you're in a midfielder and you see that a cross is coming in, get into these areas here. One of you can get in there, one of you can get here. Okay, and you clean up everything that comes on the top of the box. So that's another great forward run. Anticipate the play, don't be lazy, get forward, get yourself a goal, and you're going to be a much more effective midfielder. Alright, so there's lots of forward runs. I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some ideas on what to do when your team has the ball. Let's recap. Peel off. This is valuable all over the field. Okay, so instead of receiving the ball here, I'm going to peel off, create space for yourself. But I'm talking more in a forward run scenario. Okay, so what I mean by that is I'm not going to receive the ball here. If the ball is played in here, I'm going to peel off, facing the ball, facing the goal, my body positioning is open to the goal and open to the ball, I'm peeling off here and then I'm receiving that. If you ever, I guess you won't get to see Robin Van Persie play too much since he just got transferred to Fenerbahce I believe it is, but that guy makes the best peel offs, okay, he scores so many goals like that too. Defender gets drawn to the ball, he peels off like that, opening his body to the ball and to the goal, and sometimes it was a full volley to the net, but he just does that, creates great for space for himself, and then he can attack with much more purpose. Through the lines was the second one we talked about, okay, so I'm not trying to receive the ball always to feet, sometimes I want to get it in here, that through ball, perfect timing, right, making good eye contact, calling for the ball, timing, so as the ball is played, I'm right at that line, and I get that through ball there, or through ball between, as a winger, between the fullback and the center back. you want to get that one, you can play across, or you can attack goal right away, okay, through the lines. Midfield runner, so when there's space, Say a striker gets sucked in the midfield, don't wait here, get the ball to feet. Make that forward run, try to receive the ball behind the defenders. Don't always play in front of the defenders. As a midfielder, I want you to get forward sometimes behind the defenders. If you can receive the ball in that situation, you're going to be much more likely to score a goal than receiving the ball in this situation here. Okay, so make more midfield, deep midfield runs. Okay, we talked about the overlap, you probably already knew that one. 
the overlap, especially as a fullback, overlap, get up and down this line all day. Midfielder can overlap as well, striker can overlap. Anytime that someone's gonna come inside and draw space for you, that's a great opportunity to overlap. Underlap, so say the winger went down the side, I'm not just supporting here, I'm getting involved here, trying to get the ball in this situation. Underlap coming on the inside. Late runner was the last one we talked about. Okay, so anytime that ball is getting whipped into the box, where are my midfielders? Where are my fullbacks even? Late runner, get involved. Okay, you can get in these types of areas. Balls are gonna get knocked out. Your team's not always gonna win every ball. Not every cross is gonna be perfect. Okay, so balls get whipped in. Where's that late runner at the back post, that fullback? Where's the late midfielders coming here for the top of the box? Or even better, hey, this is a, that's a defender. Or even better, a nice cutback, and you were a late runner because you worked hard, you got rewarded with a top corner blast. Okay, so that's a lot of forward runs there. I hope that helps you out. What I would suggest is just being more active, okay? Tell yourself, in today's practice or today's game, I'm gonna make a lot more forward runs. I'm not always gonna try to receive the ball to feet. Yes, I want you to receive the ball to feet lots. I want you to get on the ball, I want you to pass and move. But sometimes I want you to make forward runs, try to get behind defenders, get in advanced positions that you wouldn't normally get, and you'll be surprised at the opportunities you create for yourself and for your teammates. Thank you for watching this video. Please like if you enjoyed it, if you found it valuable. Please share it with your teammates, with your friends, with players who want to get better. Please comment below. I will respond to your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already and come back tomorrow because I'm releasing a new video guaranteed to make you a better player. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you real